Hello. Hello. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? Matt here in Yangjiang. Um, I wanted to talk about something on my Nuance channel. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I wanted to talk about something on this channel. I, I, I have, I've, I've had a couple of beers, so I'm feeling very, very open and talkative, and it might be a good time to talk about this. I created this channel so that people could understand China a little bit better. Ni hao. Hello. <laughs> and uh, by by watching my experiences in China, maybe you could understand China and the world. Like uh, uh, the object really of this channel is to understand uh, the world a little bit better because through travel, I've learned to understand the world quite a bit. But um, I want to make this video to dispel some of the advice or information coming from some other channels I've seen now. Uh, let me preface this with what I've been doing. I have actually had uh, a trip here with CGTN, which is a state-owned uh, media uh, company. They, uh, they, they provide information, politics, and travel information uh, about China. All, all different sorts of information, all sorts of uh, uh, shows and content on their channel. And I've hung out with their camera crew, their editors, their sound guys, their executive producers, the big boss man in charge of the channel, you know, everybody in between. And it had me sort of thinking because this morning I actually watched some videos from some of the anti-China crowd, some of the real, the real educated individuals that know exactly, hello, you know, that know exactly what's going on in China. And they want to tell it to you straight. They want to tell you the real scoop of what's going on in China. And it sort of runs counter to the experiences that I've had in China. They see China as this big bad entity, this evil... You know, they see China as this this evil country bent on world domination. Hello. Bent on world domination. Like really, really nasty shit. And um, yeah, I'm along this, this river walk here. Everybody's got these uh, quad bikes. Hi, Hi. Shippen. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, what? What? Hi, Paula. This is my heart. Oh, I can't see it. Let me show you this one. This is my heart. Oh, my heart. Okay, what's your heart? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wow, so many people. Yes, yes, yes. You can come to my house for free. Oh, I can't eat. I can't eat. 我的，好，好，好，好，好，下次，下次，下次，下次，啊，下次来过来，拜拜，等下你要围观我哦，拜拜，拜拜，拜。People are so nice. Hello. Hello. Excuse me. Bye bye. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse you too. Yeah. All right, all right. So <laughs> that's actually a really, really good example of what I'm talking about here. I have had a unique set of experiences in China. And the majority of them, the vast majority of them, have been very positive. And from those positive experiences, I have built a perception of China. I've built a perception of everywhere I've traveled. I've traveled in China. I've traveled in uh, Vietnam, I've traveled all around Southeast Asia, I've been to India, New Zealand, all over Europe, all over North America, and every single place gives me a perception of that place. And I share that perception with my YouTube channel. Now, this is on Nuance, but I have like over a thousand, maybe 1,500 videos on my uh, uh, travel channel called Jiao Nation. Um, I have a ton of fans here in China as well that I make videos for. Hello. 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 Hello.
And the vast majority have also in, encouraged me to understand the culture and the people here. Hello. And the people, the more people I meet in China, the more I appreciate the culture. And the more I feel like the news coming out of China is perverted in a way that's castigating China, which is why I created this channel, which is why I created a lot of channels. So I'm trying to inform people about my perspective of China, and hopefully, maybe I can help add some nuance to your perception. Hello! Hello. <laughs> and hopefully I can add some perception to your perception of China. Does that make sense? But there's other people out there that are adding a counter narrative. Um, they're the China Uncensored, they're the Epoch Times, they're the La Y86 and Serpent Zedays of the world. These people are drawing a different picture, a different picture than the one that, than the one that I've drawn. And it's a really sad state of things. I watch their videos and I become really, really frustrated because Although some of the things they might be saying might be drawn off some, some news item, maybe they feel anger or slighted by China, maybe some things happened to them that weren't what they would appreciate, they have gone completely negative. So I wanted to make this video to say, fuck what they say, and honestly, fuck what I say too. If you really want to understand a place and you're willing to become so angry about a place as to turn down everything that I say, then the problem lies in your understanding and appreciation for this country and other countries as well. It means that you need to take a step out of your comfort zone and come to China and experience it for yourself. Because the experiences that I've had here, the interactions, hello. <laughs> the interactions with people that I have had lead me to a completely different conclusion than a lot of those guys. And I don't want to say that I'm right about everything. You know, maybe uh, those guys have had different interactions that have led them to believe different things. But the interactions that I've had have led me to see a completely different China than the China that they depict in their videos and their hateful content. It's extremely frustrating because I, I try to make this uh, channel an opportunity for people to see different sides of a country and different sides of a people. Hello. And, and I feel like I've been pretty successful at that by sharing my actual personal interactions. But this trip has been really interesting because I've actually been on this trip with the CGTN crew, which is state-owned media. If you were to... Um, really look at them from a perspective that is on the other side, you'd say any word out of any of those people's mouths is perverted and you shouldn't listen to any of it. They're dastardly, they're deceptive, and they're downright evil. And I'm sitting down having drinks with these guys and girls and seeing entrepreneurs, cameramen, sound people, editors, people that appreciate China, people that love their country, people that have patriotism, People that ask questions, people that are looking for answers, people that appreciate their country for many reasons, but also have an objective view of it for many reasons. And I was actually expecting, in a really funny way, to meet these people and see somewhat of a brainwashed group of people. People that they're either faking their enthusiasm for the country or they're not seeing the whole picture. And I'm like, these people are propagandizing everything. And you know what I learned? They're not. They're, they're patriotic uh, Chinese who love their country, who have a job to work for CGTN and dig deep into issues, who, <laughs> who really are confused about the perception from the outside world regarding a lot of issues here in China, and who also have nuanced views about some things that other people actually have a really angry view about. So they actually have an open mind to understand and try to ask questions about certain things and they don't have all the answers as well. And it, it leads me to understand and believe that there are slants everywhere. 
they have an appreciation for China which gives them some sort of a slant, right? I have an appreciation for China and appreciation for all the countries I travel through and therefore I have a slight slant. And then you have people like China Uncensored Epoch, you know, the military industrial complex, the people in the American government, the people who are moving the levers of power, the people who are angry that they're losing power, the people who are rich and own huge corporations that are losing out to China, and the people like Winston and Matt who are spiteful and angry and pissed off because China didn't work out the way that they wanted. And so they go on the attack and they pick the specific issues that they want to, whether they're positive or negative, and they twist them into negatives. Now, I have videos where I twist, well, I try to look at everything from a positive light, and therefore, maybe, maybe you can't look at everything that I say and take it carte blanche, just like you can't take what they say, a lot of what they say, and take it as carte blanche. But, we're all trying, well, maybe not all of us, the people I've interacted with are trying to tell the stories as true as they can. And we need to take little bits from everywhere and build our own understanding of a country. So in closing, if you're sitting on a couch and you're watching Serpent ZA, China Uncensored, Epoch Times, Lao 86, all of these goofballs, and you're taking everything they say as honest to goodness fact that you're doing something wrong. And I'm not even saying that you should watch my videos and take them as honest to goodness fact. I'm saying that if you're so passionate to hate China, but you're not willing to come here and experience it for yourself, you're not willing to see the people and see the attitudes of the people that live here, the Han Chinese, the minorities, the Uyghurs, the people in the western part of China, the people in the eastern part of China. I have been all around China. I have seen every corner, every nook and cranny. Um, I'm sorry, I'll take that back. I haven't seen every nook and cranny. China is a big country. But I have been to all parts of China. Hello. But I have been to all parts of China. And in doing so, my understanding of China is fairly nuanced, which is why I call this channel Nuance. And I think that I have something of value to contribute to the people's ideas with regards to China. But some people have an agenda and some people are very, very angry and spiteful of this country. And I think that you need to take their opinions and their messages with a grain of salt and add it to other people's opinions. But even then, you need to, if you really want to invest your anger in China, if you really want to hate on China, then you've got to come here and complete the picture. If you come here, complete the picture, and you find out you still hate China, then, then you've done your due diligence and that's all. But if you're just listening to these goofballs, and, and I'm including myself as a goofball too, and you're not coming up with your own, with your own idea of things, then, um, then you need to take a self-reflection look at yourself and understand that you're being led along. You're being delivered a narrative and you're eating it up. And I think there's far too much of that in the world right now. And I think it's very important that we take information in the world, but we also go into the world and create our own ideas of things. Because I feel like China is under attack these days, and I think it's under attack for a, numer a number of reasons. Some of them deserved, some of them not. But the people who are on the anti-China side are, are really stoking the fire, or they're becoming so angry for reasons that they don't understand that their own country is doing horrible things as well. But they hate the other country even more. So. They're blinded to their own, uh, their own problems, but they're pointing the finger outwards and saying, you're the bad guy. When in essence, we're all gradations of, of bad, we're all gradations of, of gray. And it's important to understand that factor when we're judging a country so severely. Um, China is full of happy, um, prospering, understanding, welcoming, multicultural, but also different people. And that's another thing. 
Chinese people aren't like like everybody else. They're just like anybody in any country isn't like anybody else. We're all different for different reasons. We run our governments differently. We run our we have different cultures. We have different habits. Hello. But deep down inside, we all want to raise happy families. We want our kids to have better opportunities than we do. And uh, we want to live good lives. And from what I have seen in China, China wants that for their society too. And I think the people at the very top of China's government see that as well. And they understand that we want to make sure that everybody in China is happy, that's living a healthy life, that's educated, and that uh, that can see the fruit of the government's labor to try to provide a better life because they know that if things go sideways that they're not going to be in power anymore. And that's my perception of things. Hello. 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 So in closing, don't listen to everything that I say, but most certainly don't listen to everything my uh, opposition says either. Figure it out for yourself and don't be spoon-fed bullshit, okay? Because if there's one thing I've learned about travel, it's that the world is a lot different than you're told. Uh, um, by media in your home country. Thanks guys, Jayo, have a good one. Uh, we're leaving this this place and we're actually headed, I'm, I'm finishing up my tour here with CGTN. I've, I've filmed a lot of interesting content. I've gone a lot of interesting places. I've learned a lot of interesting things. And I would hate for the things that I've learned, the things that I've communicated through my channel on Travel Channel and my channel on Nuance to be polluted by these assholes who are saying that all China, China is bad, all China is evil, all the Han Chinese are evil. They're doing these despicable things because of X, Y, and Z, when a lot of that is a lot more nuanced than, uh, than the black and white that they're trying to paint. I think that, that end part was a lot better. I should have put that first. <laughs> Anyways, take it easy, guys. Bye-bye.